Hey there, this is Michael May, and today I'm going to walk you through Tidewater's 2410 Baymax. This boat has the 112-pound Minn Kota trolling motor. It's the Ultera, which self-deploys, as you can see here, and is all remote. There's no tiller or anything on it. You simply control it with the remote. This one is installed with a quick-release bracket and plug. If you open the anchor hatch here, you can see the plug inside. You just pull the pin on the bracket and undo that plug there, and you can take it off the boat when you're going out in some rougher seas. Just behind the anchor locker here, you can see this big hatch that's opened up. That's a five gallon bucket that's down inside of there, so you can just see how deep it is, and it's easily three and a half to four feet across. Below that is our fish box here. It's being held open by those shocks, and most of the hatches on this boat are, so it'll keep it open for you and it won't get beat up. And on each side of the bow, you can see these rod lockers. They are lockable and can hold up to four rods, so if you're wanting to get off the boat and go eat dinner somewhere when you're docked, you can lock those up and won't have to worry about anything being taken. And as we look back on the console, the seat bottom cushion on the front side of the console opens up, and below it you can see here is a live well. It's our third live well on the boat, and the only forward one. And just above it on the T-top you can see your spreader lights, and on the side of the console here this door opens up, and there's just plenty of space inside there to fit anything you might need. And looking at your dash, you can see how nice and laid out it is. On the left side of the wheel there, you can see your switch for your jack plate and your wireless phone charger. On the dash, there's one GPS already installed and plenty of room for a second one. And on the other side, you can see those lit up cup holders that is one of the accessory switches along with your Yamaha gauge. And your stereo head right there above all those accessory switches. And just above your head, you can see the three switches here for your spreader and courtesy lights along with this storage compartment that is easily accessible. The two courtesy lights are above your head, there are two speakers behind you, and four rod holders on the back of the T-top and the leaning post. The leaning post has a flip down bar for your feet just below the seats, and this is the LeBrock seating that flips up so you can stand there and have more space while you're running, or flip down so you can sit down. On each side of the console there is broad storage under the gunnels as well. And finally at the stern of the boat, this foldable seat cushion folds up and you can see this compartment is perfect for storing any frozen or even dead bait that you might want to put in there. This compartment also pulls out and you can easily access your bilge where everything is laid out nice and neat. And on each side of the stern of the boat there are live wells. You can simply open these up and see that they can fit plenty of bait in there if you, if you need them to. There are rod holders, cup holders, and cleats on each side of the boat. And here on the port side, you can see your collapsible ladder. There's your engine with your jack plate and your Minn Kota Raptor. And the Minn Kota Raptor has a special feature where you have to hit the button twice so that it can't accidentally deploy. 